Hello everybody, my name is Peter Koutny and I have for you a really nice game Mikhail Tal Viktor Korchnoi 1985 and in this position Mikhail took on f5 with his knight and this move is the best move in this position. Just to be really open, honest, I will never ever believe that this move is possible. But I am not Mikhail Tal and this is a really nice example why Michal Tal was so great and uh, strong chess player because he was looking for impossible and this move looks like is impossible and at the end is the best move in this position so welcome here and I hope you will enjoy this game as you will enjoy this video so we should start with the first moves and I will tell you something about this opening now the right move is bishop to g5 and a small mistake is bishop to e3. Why this move is a mistake? I will show now because a black has a really good answer for a knight to g4. And bishop on e3 is a really important piece for white. So it makes sense to go maybe to g5. If black is going to b6, now white has more difficulties because white is under attack on b2 and d4 and for example if white is going to b3 is checkmate on f2 so as i told you this bishop it's a really strong piece and need to be on e3 but maybe another another answer is to play h6 g5 bishop to g7 and now the right answer is to take on c3 check check and to take with b pawn and in this position has black a really good game because white has bad pawn formation a2 pawn is a weakness c2 c3 is a weakness and somewhere here black has maybe small advantage so that's the reason why in this position bishop to e3 is not the right move the right move is to play bishop to g5 and now this position is going for long and short castle. So it's look like, uh, yes, that's something what we are looking for if we are watching game Tal Korchnoi. But knight to b3, a5. Uh, maybe now theory is speaking about move bishop to b4, uh, b5 and bishop to a4. Uh, move a5 looks okay because black love to go to a4 and maybe a3 with some activity. It's good to stop black to play a4 but uh, we have two options to go bishop to b5 or a4. If we are playing a4 we are losing a square b4 and this square is important for us yes i know that black lost square b5 as well so i believe that after move a5 is the right move to play bishop um, bishop to b5 because still you should play one day a3 and fight against b4 square but it's happened a4 and d5 Okay, uh, game Karpov Kasparov 1985 uh, was going when White took on d5 and at the end it was without any advantage. Um, somewhere here, I'm going to be faster. Uh, Karpov Kasparov, it was draw. No advantage. It's hard to believe that White should play for win here. So, for this reason, it's not a good uh, idea to take on d5. If you know some good games, you know what to play. So, not good idea to take on, on d5 and uh, the right move is bishop to b5 and Michal Tal played this move. A right answer, it's, uh, it's coming from the game um, Balashov Kalifman. It's knight to b4 and uh, with small edge for white after e5, take on e7, f4, knight to c5 and small edge for 
wide, but nothing terrible, nothing too big. Normal middle game position with small advantage for white. But now uh, Viktor Korchnoi is playing the first small mistake and he is taking on e4. Okay, uh, Tal took on d8 and don't tell me that this game will be boring because we are playing without queens. Michal Tal is playing every time for win and doesn't matter if he's playing with or without queens. So, uh, bad position now is to take with, uh, by, uh, by a rook because black has problem to play with these two pieces. And this is really important to see where black has a problem. He has problem to play with bishop and rook. He will take one, will take on c6 and take on e4. And this position is difficult, difficult for for black. Okay. So he took with the bishop and. Looks like white has a good position because has two good rooks, two strong bishops, and and two knights are somewhere in the game. Black has nearly all his pieces in the last rank. This is a bad picture. This is a bad picture of Black's army. You know, no activity, no pieces in the game, difficult position. So, <laughs> knight to a7. And the right answer, what Mikhail missed, was to take on e4. This is a really nice move and now I will show two variations where I will prove my sentence that black has difficulties. For example, if black would take on b5, take and bishop to h6 and now we are playing bishop uh, Rook to e3, give to threat, check on g3, and of course difficulties for black. Looks like the right answer to go to h8, but um, I believe that somewhere here still white has a big advantage. And watch this bishop. This bishop should not go to d7, and this looks like a good advantage for white. Another plan is to go to g3 or to take on f7. So, difficulties, difficulties, difficulties. Because black has bad pieces. Okay, another another chance it was to, to take on e4, but um, black will take on f2. And uh, after this, uh, this couple moves, is the right move to play knight to c5. Mistake is to take knight to h2 because of this variation where black is lost. So, somewhere here you can see that black is losing everything. And one more time, black has difficulties because he is not playing with his pieces. This is a simple room. We have to play with all our pieces. If we are not playing with all our pieces, we have the same problems as Viktor Korchnoi in this game. So, I hope you will remember this sentence and let's come back. Uh, bishop to c4 is the move from this game. h6. And now Michal took on f6. If black will take with a bishop, he will has another problems, but you know, still looks like even um, wider small advantage. One more time, because two not playing pieces, um, still black has chance to play this game. Yes, has difficulties, has problems, but still is too far to say that black is lost. But uh, in hard game, hard position, black is taking with g pawn f5 and uh, now move b6 <laughs> yes as i told you why will take on f5 uh, maybe the right move is uh, rook to d8 uh, why will take this bishop going to e2 f4 and uh, small edge for white you know 
Maybe this was the last chance for Black to save his life, but you know, from your experience in hard position, everybody is making mistakes, everybody is playing not the best moves, and this happened here because Black played b6, knight to f5, and what to play? Of course, if Black will not take this knight, he's losing pawn and he's losing game, so he will take and bishop to d5. Now, how to save this game? For example, yes, if black is play, uh, playing rook to b8, yes, the right answer is rook to e7 and two pieces under attack. So, white will take back one piece, has more material and winning position. For this reason, bishop to d5 is the right move and the right answer is bishop to e6. Okay. Uh, white took on a8 and now I will show another variation. Now black took this bishop. But what's happen if black will take this uh, this knight? Okay, looks like black has two pieces for a rook. But, you know, one rook is going to d7, another to e7 and this will be again bad position for black. Don't be surprised. One move here. Okay. Okay, change is okay. And he will take one pawn. And even here, white has a big advantage. And uh, well done to Michal Tal that he saw this variation. He has the right feeling that this position is great for him. And sometimes we are worried to play variation because we are not sure. Uh, we have to be sure and we should play like Michal Tal. Okay, here uh, Viktor Korshner took on a8 and knight to d4, of course. What to play? For example, if black is playing bishop to c4, he's coming back to d5, knight to b5 and still looks like that these two rooks are uh, the most important factor in this position. For example, if black will take, we will take, going to d7, going to e7. As I told you, this setup is a, a really winning setup because we are taking everything in this rank. And for example, take on f7, take on f5, and this position is really bad, maybe a loss for black because of these two strong rooks. So it's good to have the right feeling, it's good to know some interesting chess games and maybe it's good to know this game Tal Korchnoi because we are able to, to get the right feeling. For example, okay, knight to d4, what's happen if rook to e8, take, take, and one more time, we are going to d7, b7, we will take one pawn and I don't believe that <laughs> black will play this position for a long time. Then we are playing b4, uh, b5, b6, b7 and we are winning of course this check here. So, bishop to d5, it was the answer on bishop to e7 and watch these two rooks, if they are going to 7th rank, they are so strong, they are so cool, they are the best pieces in, uh, in, the, in the chessboard. And if you have chance, go for this position, go for a 7 rank, and that's it. For example, if bishop to uh, d8, of course, knight to f5. And check. And it's bad position, you know, big activity, for example, here, without doubt. White is winning. We are nearly at the end of this game. You know, not long game, but still interesting. Rook to c8. Uh, knight to b5, of course, is under attack. This bishop and this knight. So, uh, black will take, white will take. And maybe if black is going to a7, I am sure you, you will play rook to d7. Yes, well done. 7 rank, winning a rank. Winning position is good to remember this position, this setup. So, knight to d6 and of course this losing position 
Samarir and Black Resign. So, not long game, not long video, but beautiful idea, knight to f5. And the main, main idea is to play for rook to d7 and rook to e7. And if you are able to remember this variation, if you are able to remember this motif, well done, you get a new experience, you are improving chess player and I believe you should enjoy uh, such of this position in your games. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have the right feeling how to play chess and I believe I will see you next time. So, thank you very much for likes, follow and that's everything for now. See you next time and I wish you a good day. Bye-bye.